Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. In this presentation I'm going to continue my series of videos on Fourier transforms and their applications to partial differential equations. And in particular, I'm going to solve the following problem via the method of Fourier transforms. So we've got uh, a partial differential equation here. You might represent the temperature at position x and time t in some uh, infinitely long bar. You've got some initial temperature and some limiting conditions. Now in previous videos we defined the Fourier transform of a function, it's an integral transform, and it's inverse, which kind of undoes the, the Fourier transform. Now the particular interest in these kinds of um, transforms is in their application to differential equations and their solutions. Now we're going to use two important concepts to solve this particular problem. First of all, we are going to use transform of derivatives. And I talked about that in a previous video. Okay, so here are some uh, transform of derivatives. And we're also going to use the so-called convolution theorem of Fourier transforms. Okay, you define the convolution of two functions f and g to be this sort of improper integral with a shift in one of the functions. And then um, let's say you wanted to take the inverse transform of a product of uh, Fourier transforms. Then it's just basically this constant times the convolution of the two functions. And again, there's another video on that as well. So the uh, interest in, uh, or the interesting part of this video is um, the solution or the application of the previous ideas to uh, this, this kind of um, problem. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get down to it. So um, the idea with any kind of transform method applied to a, a problem involving differential equations is the following. You transform the PDE to some new setting. Hopefully the problem in the new setting is simpler than the original one you solve the transform problem. And then to recover the solution to the original problem, you untransform or inverse transform everything. So the uh, method is best explained or best understood via example. So let me show you an example. I'm just gonna work through this uh, step by step. Okay, so let's call this um, say one. Okay, so we transform both sides of one to obtain the following. Okay, now remember when we take the plus transforms, we're, we're essentially transforming with respect to the spatial x variable. Okay, now for the t variable, this, this derivative will just be the derivative of the transform. And this one can be written down from this middle line here. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to let a little bit of notation, let u of w t be the Fourier transform of u with respect to the x variable. Okay, so what? So this would be the derivative of u with respect to t. And over here, using the um, transform of derivatives, we'll get the following. Oh, yes. Okay, so let me just mention that we've applied TOD or transform of derivatives here. So now we've got a new equation or differential equation. Notice that we've only got one partial derivative present in this differential equation. Therefore, you can kind of think of it as an ordinary differential equation. And in particular, the techniques that you know for solving ordinary differential equations can be applied to this um, problem, okay? So we've transformed the problem. We've, we're now trying to solve the transform problem. Once we've solved it, we'll try to take the inverse transform and, and recover the solution to our original problem. Okay, this is just a first order ODE. Okay, so I might just write it like this. 
okay, where the dash means uh, differentiation with respect to the, the t variable. Okay, so how do we solve this? Well, in a course in calculus, or say a first course in differential equations, you know that the solution to this problem, treating, say, w as uh, essentially playing the role of a constant, the solution is an exponential function. So this is a general solution now. It's basically uh, e to this of uh, uh, e, e to this times t. Okay. Now you would generally put a constant out here, but remember w is a function of two variables. So this coefficient, if you like, really should be a function of w. Okay, so if we can compute this function a, then we've actually solved the transform problem. So how can I compute the function a? Well, let's look at the uh, extra conditions that we're given. We're going to use the initial temperature. Okay, so, so if we transform, say, 2, both sides of 2, we'll actually get an initial condition that is, in, uh, that is compatible with this kind of transformed uh, general solution. Okay? So let's, let's transform 2. Okay, so if I transform the left-hand side, this is just going to be u hat of w0. The transform of the right-hand side, well, we don't know what g is, but let's just uh, assume it has a, 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 a Fourier transform. Let's uh, write the transform as g hat. Okay, so I have this general solution. I want to refine it by computing a and I have this initial condition. So if I go up here and plug in t equals 0, I know this has got to equal g hat. Okay, so let's call this star. So let's combine with star to form, okay, well if t equals 0, that term's going to disappear, and I'll be left with a of w, and that's got to equal g hat. So a is identically equal to g hat. So I can now write down my refined solution. So that is the solution to my transform problem. So what I would like to do now is invert this or take the inverse transform and recover u of x comma t. Okay, so to recover u we compute the inverse transform of this. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, Essentially, you can see that this is a product of two functions, okay? And in particular, this is the transform, I mean, this essentially is uh, a transform of something else, okay? This is a bit like a Gaussian, and we know from the uh, earlier videos that if you transform a Gaussian, you get another Gaussian, okay? So, we're essentially looking at this kind of situation here with this playing the role, say, of f hat of w. Now, obviously, this is a function of two variables. This is a function of one variable. It doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. Okay. All right. So what is the um, solution to this? Well, we compute g, we compute f, and then we take the convolution and multiply by this, this constant. That gives the inverse transform of this, and which will give us our solution u. Okay? So we're going to apply the convolution theorem. Alright, so how do we do that? 
Well. Well, the inverse transform of g hat is just g. Now think of t kind of like playing the role of a constant here. The inverse transform of this, a Gaussian, is another Gaussian. Okay, so you can get that from a table or from a previous example or video. Okay, so what we want to do is take this and take this and calculate their convolution and then multiply through by this constant and that, that will give us u. Okay. So it is um, f star. Now I'm just going to put this x comma t in to signify that you know really the product is a uh, depends on two variables rather than one. Okay, so I'm going to use this um, uh, improper integral representation okay and so f's that so I replace x with x minus p in brackets and g is up there, so I don't know what g is, so I can just write that down. So I'm going to get something like the following. I'll just sort of switch the order around a little bit. Okay, if I take this out the front, then... I get the following. Okay, so now I have my solution to my original problem. Okay, so I've now solved the problem with this form of solution. Now, in other videos, when we were studying uh, the heat or diffusion equation, we came up with this solution by different methods. So um, the solution that I've shown you now, some would argue that uh, it's actually a bit more straightforward, there's less messing around. So this is one advantage of transform methods. Um, now, a good question here is, what, why are these two conditions here? Well, um, this is so that we can actually apply the transform of derivatives. They uh, assume that, basically, the transforms, um, uh, th th there's, th there's no uh, initial or boundary conditions associated with the transforms of derivatives. So these things should, should be zero. Okay? So that is the transform method for solving the heat or diffusion equation. Again, like I said before, the transform methods for differential equations are usually the same. You take the problem and you transform it. You form a new, hopefully simpler or solvable problem. 
you solve that problem and you refine it and then you get back to your original solution by inverting this transform. Okay, and to do this we use the convolution theorem. Okay, and we uh, did a little bit of work there. Okay, so that is the method of Fourier transforms to PDEs. In other videos I'm going to solve some more similar problems um, via the transform methods. I hope you can join me for those presentations.